So today's going to be a little different than usual. This is usually bull riding hard shreds, but today it's going to be a video actually from my friend Gordon, not Gordon, Dakota. Uh, he's one of my country buddies. We like, you know, he wants to hunt with me. We're both in FFA and ag and all that. We like the outdoors, all that. And a lot of people hunt nowadays. It's more popular deer, hunting squirrels, foxes, anything they can get their rifle on or bow. And you know, rifle hunting's nice, but it's really expensive. So is bow hunting. So instead of buying this four thousand dollar compound bow, I figured let's make PVC bows. Go small game hunting: squirrels, rabbits, birds, pest birds, obviously. Hold on, Dakota's actually messaging me right now. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, 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 sorry, okay. So, basically, uh, what I'm doing is, oh my god, close. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach him how to make this bow, because he's a little lost, and he's going to do it at his house, and then eventually we're going to go on a little hunting trip. Okay, very easy bow, I'm telling you guys. You can make it at yourself, with, and it's no heat either, that's the great part. So, you want to take... A by a three fourths inch PVC poop, not food tube, like so. It can be orange, whatever color you want. I'm using gray just because it's what my grandpa had around. So, uh, what you're gonna do is actually first you're going to take a file you're gonna, or a saw and you're gonna cut this. After cutting it, you're gonna take the file, file it down. You want to make sure both sides are completely filed down. They're not sharp edges or any of that. Then you're going to take right here, PVC pipe, end of the bow. You're going to take right here, and if you have a clamp, uh, like you hold something before you hammer it or things like that, just press down on it like this, and make sure it's the same way on both sides. This one's a little crooked, I know. And then you're going to just file down to about the words or about halfway. Uh, across, oh, yeah, sorry. It's better if you go diagonal. I didn't have the right file, so I couldn't do that. So you're going to go down, and then you're going to do that on both sides, and we'll make sure you line it up. Uh, put tape or something over it. It helps the bow from stop sliding if you can't do a diagonal and have to do it straight like I did. Uh, I'm going to make this look more official and all that. And all you gotta do to do that is wrap it in tape or ribbon and all that. And I'll do that probably next week or during this week. So to make the arrow holder very important because it really makes it easier to shoot. You're gonna take a paper clip and you're gonna flatten it down so it looks like this. This is the paper clip. It's all twisted at first. Now flatten it out like this. You're gonna turn one end like this, the other end like this. So this. And then you're going to tape it on loosely so it'll slide like this. See? It moves. Then you're going to take the top hand. Okay. Also, when making this, you want to make sure it's the right way. The arrow holder, I'm left-handed. So when I pull my bow back, oh, okay, my bow pulled back, this would be on the side. I close this eye, so it would be on this side. So I can look. I can let down my arrow. Hold on. The code message me again. Uh, so, very easy. Make. Uh, okay. And then, I believe Dakota wants to use, what kind of cord is it? Survival cord, that's what it is. Like paracord? See if you can get your hands on this. It's bowstring. Really, it's not really bowstring. It, you can buy it at Hobby Lobby. It's like bowstring though. It's real thin. It works nice. It holds very well. You can also get the uh, non metal filament uh, fishing string. That will probably work if you get the right kind. This is probably what this is, is a kind of fishing string. Something very important about this is shooting the bow. Shoot the bow, very simple. Aiming, if you have your hat on, I tilt it back just because it gets it less in the way. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. You're going to grab it like this. You don't want to strangle the bow like you see a lot of people do. You want to either hold it like this or like this. Loosely so that when you pull back, you know, it's not like 
Oh, manliness. No. Just enough that you can hold the bow in your hand, not be too much in the way of the arrow thing. I mean, of the arrow holder. To grab the bow, most people teach you like this, or you can use a release, uh, or like this, like this. Like this, 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 or even this. However your temper. I'm doing by release because it's easier, but you do what you want to do, and I don't care how you shoot it. Just in my, if you hit the target, you're good. Ooh, this is starting to loosen up the string stretching a little bit. It's fine though. So to shoot it, you're gonna grab it like this. I don't have an arrow, so I'm not gonna pull it back like this. I'm gonna pull it back like this. I'm gonna pull back to here, and to your jaw, right? You're going to hook your look like fish. Now let's say you're pulled back right now, because I don't want to hold it like that. You're going to be in the middle, and you're going to close your eye. So look something like this. You're going to look down the string, down to the arrow point. You'll see that the arrow point is slightly faded. So if I want to hit a bullseye, I'm taller. So in color it goes yellow, red, blue, black. Since I'm so tall, I start off by aiming at the blue. The bottom of the blue, and I see where it goes from there. Something with archery is you constantly have to readjust. And I mean constantly. Figure out your shot. That's why they do warm-ups, so you know exactly where to shoot. The release, that's important too. Pull. Oh, whoa, sorry. Um, I released too early. Accidental release. Sorry. Well, let me fix this. Yeah, that was actually not good at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, yeah, I figured that would happen. Okay. Uh, I don't know what just happened. I'm very confused. Alright, there we go. So you're going to pull back to here. You're going to let go. Pull back. You're going to go. Pull back, paint the face. The reason you paint the face, so there it goes clearly. So doing this, so as you do this, see that jolt? It screws up. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, just message me on Facebook, uh, Dakota, or comment on this video. Uh, thank you so much.